and said, yes, I'm going to be your wife. Tim McGraw is looking back on the day Faith Hill agreed to spend forever by his side. The neon church singer and his country songstress wife marked their 25th wedding anniversary on Wednesday. To celebrate, Tim recorded a video of himself telling the story of the way he asked Faith to be his wife. He told fans that he'd tried to pop the question a couple of times, but she wasn't on board. I actually asked her to marry me quite a few times, and she kept saying no. She said, I'm not going to get involved with another country singer. It's just not going to work out. One day, they were both at a big outdoor music festival, hanging out in one of the trailers for performers. And before he left for his set, he seized the opportunity to ask her another time. And I said, look, let's get married. And she says, you're asking me to marry you at a country music festival in a trailer house. And I said, well, it's pretty apropos if you think about it. She goes, are you serious? I said, well, yeah, I'm serious. After that, he was called to the stage, so he left without an answer. But he got one when he came back. Faith wasn't there, but I looked at the mirror in lipstick. It said, yes, I'm going to be your wife. And we still have that mirror. And it was the uh, best day of my life, that's for sure. <laughs> that yes turned into a quarter century of love and counting for Tim and Faith. The couple tied the knot on October 6, 1996. In the decades since, they've made lots of music together and raised three daughters, Gracie, Maggie, and Audrey. The country crooner reflected on their life so far in the caption of his anniversary video. He wrote, 25 years later and it's still the best day of my life. Thanks for going on this journey with me. Love you, Faith. Tim loves to look back on his early relationship with Faith. In an interview with Access Hollywood earlier this year, he recalled the delicious meal that helped him win the blonde beauty over before they'd started dating. She was living down the street from me, and um, we were sort of seeing each other, but not really. And um, and I made some chicken and dumplings, and I thought, this is a this is a good way to get to a Mississippi girl. So I made chicken and dumplings and homemade cornbread. Oh, cornbread. Knocked on her, knocked on her door, and, and uh, 24 years ago, and the rest is history, I guess. Really? Three, three, three daughters later. <laughs> That's some spicy cornbread right there. Yeah, that's right. Still make it for her today? Oh yeah, we had, uh, the kids love it. That's, I mean, every time the kids come home, that's one of the first things they ask for is chicken and dumplings and cornbread.